Okay, so we have another GFI here that is not working. It's brand new. Yeah, push the reset button. And uh, there's no power to the power tool, so uh, we're going to go down in the cellar. Or maybe I won't have to turn this off. I can get my tester out here. Test with your tester, make sure you have power coming to it. Just drag it on and check the sock. Okay, so we will take a non contact tester here. And you can see there is power going to it. So I'm going to go down, shut this off, and I'll put a new GFI on here. Again, this is another uh, Eaton brand one. You know what? I had this on the load side. This gets hooked on the line. I wonder how I did made that mistake. So I'm going to close this screw here. And I'm going to put this white line on the white line. So I made a mistake hooking this up. So I, I have to look more closely, make sure I put the line where it says line and the outgoing to the load. So I'm going to make sure my load screws are closed now so they don't reach out and touch something. Okay, now we can put this back into the box. Ground wire down away from everything here. Mm. Okay, now we can stick our cover back on here. So that's what happens if you have the line up to the load and have it being fed through backwards. So now we're going to see what happens when I hook it up right. Okay, there's a little yellow light that's lit here, so that means you push the reset button. Now it's reset. And now we'll plug our power saw in and test this out. Peace.
Thanks for watching. That is what happens if you hook a GFI up backwards, putting the power to the load side.